is a much, much condensed form because we need a short time at Boarding Manus. It's from pre-period, the Greek poet and author Ovid. And his wisdom was great. And he did a, a long poem about three apples. So this is my shortened version. Long time ago, there was an orchard of apples. It was a wonderful orchard, but the trees were getting old. And the wind blew through the orchard and talked to the trees. And the trees said, we need someone to help us, to, to know that we need to be regenerated. And the winds blew, and the orchard stayed. And one tree had some apples left on it, and he kept putting his energy into three magnificent apples. And he said, we will tr test and see. I know people come down this path. And one day, a young man came down the path, and the tree knew it was time. And he took one of his magnificent apples and let it gently fall. And the wind guided it slowly. <laughs> And the young man picked up the apple. And he pretended it's beautiful. A beautiful big apple. <laughs> and he ate the apple. And he went over to a drainage ditch, which was full of yuck and rocks. He dropped the core and went on. And the apple tree thought, we need to try again. So he grew and put energy into these beautiful apples, two left. And a young lady came by <coughs> to see him. And he gently dropped the apple, and the wind bore it to her feet. Oh, what a beautiful apple. Oh, it's too pretty to eat. Oh, look, it has different colors. And she marveled at this apple. She thought it was too precious to eat. So she took her scarf, wrapped it up, and went home and hid it in the closet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know what's going to happen to the apple. And did. And the tree had one more chance. And a young boy came by. He wasn't too young. He was old enough to be out by himself, but a young man. And the tree thought, my last chance. And he dropped the apple. And it rolled, and the young man picked it up and said, Oh, it's a lovely apple. It's, I know it's going to taste good, and it's beautiful. I don't see any other apples on the tree. Hmm, I think I'll eat it. But he happened to have a knife with him, which I was alone, and I hope it's going to do what I want it to do. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a formica top, so... Yeah, the young boy was strong. <laughs> <laughs> and he cut the apple in half. And he saw the star. And he knew that a star is a very special thing. <coughs> At the point of each star, there was a seed. And he took the seed, and he went across the orchard wall, and he found new soil. It was soft and beautiful. And he dug a little hole, and he dropped it in the seed. I react, I'm sorry, I just dropped another seed. I took another one, went quite a bit in the distance, did a hole, took the seed, and dropped it until he had dropped all the points of the star and he covered them up. And then he ate the apple and went on home. And the tree nodded its branches and the wind blew gently and they knew that their lives would continue, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs>